Hello guys, welcome back to the debug arena. In today's video, I will show how we can create Google Map API key for free. You can see here, I am trying to integrate React Native Map inside my React Native application, but here I am getting this error API key not found. So you know, to integrate React Native Map package in our React Native application, there is only one installation step, which is that we have to come to Android Manifest.xml and they have to add this line of code which will identify the API key. Now the question is from where we can find this API key. For that, I will go to Google. I will minimize this. Then I will come here and let's search for Google Cloud Console. I will click on this link, Google Cloud Platform. Here you have to do login with your Google account. Here first we have to create the new project. For that, I will come here and I will click on this new project. Let's give the name of the project which will be React Native Maps. I will click on this create. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, it is done. Now I'll click here and let's select our project, which is React Native Maps. Now I will click on this API and services. I will close this. When I scroll down, you can see as of now, all of these APIs are enabled. These are like default API and as of now they are 20. So to use React Native Maps, we have to enable some libraries. For that, I will go to library and here inside maps, I will click on this view all 23. And here we have to enable some of the libraries. The first one is we have to enable this map SDK for Android. So I'll click on this and click on this enable and it will load. Let's wait for it to finish. And you can see here after loading for a few seconds, it is redirecting me to this accounting page where I have to include my credit card detail, but I want to do it for free. So what I will do, I will just remove this URL. Okay. And we have to remove till this free trial. Then I will click on the enter. I will be navigated back to the home page. Now I will click on this API and services. And now here inside enable API and services, when I scroll down, you can see there are 21 API and our map SDK for Android is also included. Now let's go to library and install other four APIs. For that, I will click on this view all and we have to enable direction API, geolocation API, map JavaScript API and places API. For that, I will just scroll down and here you can see this is geolocation API. I will enable this. Then I will go back. Now the second one is place API. So I will just find the place API. Okay. I'll click on this. I'll click on this enable. I will go back and here you can see map JavaScript API. I will click on this. Let's enable this also. I will go back and now only direction API is remaining. So I will click on this direction API and let's enable it. I will go back again. And here you can see inside a notification, all the process are going on and our three API have been enabled. So now I will come here and let's go to enable API and services and I will scroll down and you can see here 23 APIs are enabled and I think other might be in progress, but they are enabled. So this is done. Now what I will do, I will just go to credential and let's generate the API key. So here I will click on this create credential and API key. It is creating the API key. You can see here, this is my API key. So I will copy this. Close this, then I will go to my application. Okay, here instead of this text, I will just paste that. And let me just try to restart my application. For that, I will come here and I will run the command which is React Native Run Android. And let's wait for it to finish. And you can see here when my application is built, I'm not getting any error. Also, I'm getting this location access. So I will click on this only this time. And in the back, you can see my map has been loaded. So this is how you can generate free API key and use that inside your React Native application or any other Android application. If you want to learn about React Native Map, how you can integrate that inside your React Native application and how you can do many much more things which are freely available. For that, stay tuned. I will be making tutorial on React Native Map very soon. Thank you for watching the video.